this is a manufacturing unit in a leather cluster in India. Like other leather manufacturers, they also would like to know about the non-tariff barriers in Europe and America. However, apart from inputs from their clients and agents, they have little else to bank upon. Access to similar pieces of information could make Indian micro, small and medium enterprises more competitive. This prompted UNCTAD, DFID and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry to come together to launch the program Strategies and Preparedness for Trade and Globalization in India in 2003. There are many challenges that uh, SMEs face, but external friend, there are two types which are critical. How SMEs can have greater access in markets in India and abroad? How SMEs can have access to inputs adequately and competitively? The main objective of this project was to build institutional and human resource capabilities of stakeholders across the country to enhance their awareness about globalization, to build their capacity so that they are able to take advantages of opportunities which globalization brings about as well as to create awareness that there is a need to adopt coping strategies in case globalization results in challenges. For export-oriented industries like leather, textiles and electronics, this requires more than just information. This also needed a change in the outlook of the entrepreneurs. The trade supply chains are very complex these days. A duty change somewhere or the change of a standard somewhere in one of the product lines or the inputs might change the competitiveness of the finished product that a small scale industry is manufacturing. But it would, be, it would not be very easy for one to really appreciate the impact of the change so quickly unless one is shown through example that a change here could impact you so much in this way. And that is why uh, we found that a lot of uh, innovative communication strategies were needed to communicate this simple thing to establish the causal link. Through this project what we tried to do was to conduct the research and establish that causal link so that the change becomes self-explanatory so that people can take the responsibility, can take up the ownership themselves. FISMI studies found that a key concern of MSMEs was their inability to link market dynamics and shifts in WTO policies FTAs and standards. This inability results in list of demands instead of a need-based MSME agenda. FISME under the project adopted a very very systematic approach towards ascertaining what were the needs of the stakeholders in the SME sector, how to go about implementing these needs. We provide financial assistance to FISME under the project for implementing a work program which is essentially determined by FISME and its stakeholders, but guided and supported by UNCTAD. What FISME did was, in 2006, it convened a big meeting of its stakeholders and an intensive brainstorming session took place over two days and a blueprint was chalked out, identifying what were the specific needs which could be met under the project how these needs could be implemented and a very clear plan of action was articulated. From 2006 to 2009, FISMI along with its 23 Tier 2 partner associations implemented this comprehensive project to cover the length and breadth of the country. 26 seminars and workshops were organized. 12 research studies were conducted. Six databases were created and 21 publications were brought out. Over 2,300 SMEs directly gained from the program, while more than 14,000 benefited indirectly during project period alone. The project involved 525 industry bodies, 26 central and state level ministries and departments, and 191 research institutions. 249 civil society organizations have been co-opted for livelihood promotion under the project.
FISMI studied capacity building that impacts trade. FISMI also analyzed market access to China. The project identified opportunities for herbal products from Mahakaushal region. Standards across leather, electronics and herbal products were mapped. One of the key achievements and outcomes of the study was the compilation of the database of testing laboratories in India. MSME clusters across 14 cities were covered during the project. This recent study and the directory of testing laboratories are both well-timed and meaningful. Our estimate is that $400 billion is the total amount of electronic hardware we will be needing every year by 2020, of which we, at the moment we are just at about $40 billion. So a tenfold growth in 10 years. Even if we want to achieve half this for production in India, we are still talking of 50,000 new companies, SMEs, each employing about 200 to 500 people. So that's the kind of impact that this can have. This capacity building means an enormous opportunity for employment in manufacturing. However, that still leaves a strategically significant role for the government. Working on trade issues requires continuous stress and focus and flow of resources through the sovereign because it has to be considered as a public good and we should remember that it is like uh, raising an army under attack that you cannot do when you are under attack. So you have to provide for resources through save sovereign and uh, so that you are prepared when changes take place and the societies and MSMEs they themselves uh, are prepared when changes take place. MSMEs in manufacturing have the potential to win the day for India in global trade. But for that, it is essential that appropriate capacity building is taken up by the industry, institutions as well as the government. This project is but only the beginning.